Dear friends, today we gather with open hearts to explore a topic that affects many of us, obsession. In our journey toward healing and restoration, we'll navigate the intersection of faith and wellness, discovering ways to manage obsession healthily while seeking the necessary support. Let us embark on this transformative journey together, trusting in the grace of our Lord to guide us to freedom. I, identifying the struggle, recognizing obsession, Philippians 4, 6, 7, and I, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Recognizing the struggle is the first step. Obsession often takes root in anxiety and worry. Acknowledge the feelings and, with a thankful heart, present them to God in prayer. Allow His peace to guard your heart and mind, opening the door to self-awareness and a pathway to healing. 1 Corinthians 6, 19, 20. Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own, you were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. God calls us to honor our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit, establishing healthy habits, including proper nutrition, regular exercise, and sufficient rest, fosters a conducive environment for mental and physical well-being. Taking care of your body is an act of worship and self-love. Proverbs 11:14. For lack of guidance, a nation falls, but victory is won through many advisors. God provides guidance through various means, including professional counselors. Seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. Just as a nation finds victory through many advisors, individuals find healing and victory through the expertise of counselors. Embrace the gift of professional support on your journey. Galatians 6, 2. Carry each other's burdens, and in this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. God designed us for community. Share your burdens with trustworthy friends, family, or fellow believers. Fulfill the law of Christ by supporting and uplifting one another. The power of communal love can break the chains of isolation and provide a comforting embrace during challenging times. Proverbs 3, 5, 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him and He will make your path straight. Obsession often stems from a desire for control. Surrendering to God's will requires trust. Lean not on your understanding alone, but submit to Him in all things. Trust that God's plan is perfect, and as you surrender, He will guide your paths to healing and wholeness. Romans 12, 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Transformative healing begins with renewing your mind. Challenge negative thought patterns and align your thinking with God's truth. Embrace a mindset that reflects His will, fostering a positive and affirming mental environment. Psalm 119, 105. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Incorporate daily reflection and prayer into your routine. God's word serves as a guiding light illuminating your path. Spend moments in silence listening to His gentle whispers. Allow daily connection with God to become a source of strength and guidance. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16, 8. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. In the midst of overcoming obsession, cultivate a spirit of gratitude. Rejoice, pray, and give thanks, even in challenging circumstances. Gratitude shifts your focus from what may seem overwhelming to the blessings God has bestowed upon you, fostering a healing perspective. Psalm 46.10 Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Practice mindfulness by being present in the moment. In stillness, recognize the presence of God. Allow the tranquility of the present to bring you closer to Him, experiencing His peace and assurance in the midst of life's complexities. Ephesians 4.32 Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Engage in acts of kindness as a form of healing. By extending compassion and forgiveness to others, you reflect the love and forgiveness God has shown you. Acts of kindness not only benefit those around you, but contribute to your own spiritual and emotional well-being. Psalm 33, 3. Sing to him a new song, play skillfully and shout for joy. Explore creative outlets as pathways to healing. Sing a new song, express yourself through art, or engage in any form of creative expression. God has gifted each individual with unique talents. Utilize these gifts as channels for emotional release and spiritual connection. Hebrews 6, 19. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. Anchor your soul in the hope of God's promises. Trust that no matter the storm, God's unchanging word provides stability and security. 
Embrace the hope that comes from a faith grounded in His everlasting love and commitment to your well-being. 1 Samuel 7.12 Then Samuel took a stone and set it up between Mizpah and Shen. He named it Ebenezer, saying, Thus far the Lord has helped us. Create symbolic Ebenezer moments, stones of remembrance marking your journey. Celebrate and reflect on the progress made, acknowledging that the Lord has been with you every step of the way. Use these moments to reinforce your confidence in God's continuous guidance. Ecclesiastes 4.12 Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Recognize the power of community support in overcoming obsession. Seek fellowship with like-minded believers who can offer encouragement, prayer, and shared experiences. Together as a united body, you can find strength, resilience, and shared victories in your journey. Psalm 27.14 Wait for the Lord, be strong, and take heart and wait for the Lord. Practice patience and perseverance trusting in God's perfect timing. Understand that healing is a process, and God's plans unfold according to His wisdom. Strengthen your heart, knowing that waiting on the Lord brings forth the best outcomes. Matthew 11, 28, 30. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Surrender the burden of obsession into God's hands. Find rest in His promise to ease your load and provide comfort. Letting go is an act of trust, allowing God to take control and guide you toward a path of healing and restoration. 1 Corinthians 6, 19, 20. Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, who is in you whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. Recognize the connection between physical well-being and spiritual health. Honor God by caring for your body the temple of the Holy Spirit. Embrace a lifestyle that promotes overall well-being, encompassing proper nutrition, exercise, and rest. Psalm 102. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful songs. Experience healing through joyful worship. Engage in uplifting praise, expressing gratitude and adoration to God. Worship becomes a powerful avenue for connecting with His presence, bringing joy and a sense of peace that transcends any lingering obsession. Proverbs 18.15. The heart of the discerning acquires knowledge, for the ears of the wise seek it out. Commit to continuous learning and growth in spiritual knowledge. Equip yourself with the wisdom found in God's Word. Engage in study, prayer, and seeking understanding, allowing the light of God's truth to dispel any darkness that may surround your thoughts. Dear brothers and sisters, as you navigate the complexities of overcoming obsession, may these additional insights provide you with a diverse set of tools for your journey. Embrace the strength of community exercise patience, surrender to God's hands, meditate on His Word, care for your physical well-being, engage in joyful worship, and commit to continuous learning. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit accompany you on this path toward complete healing and freedom. Amen.